I'll say not the result you wanted, but how do you sum up the match? Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed it. I just played fantastic. He was a better player, but run off the ball, I was needing a little bit as well. So, but uh, it, it all about, it depends on the day, and he was better player in two days, and without doubt, he and uh, good luck to him in the rest of the tournament. And he need to just believe he, he playing very well. He, he didn't miss anything. He just. Every time I was coming on the table, I was in trouble. And it's very hard when you're playing against an opponent like that. So, yeah, I'm very happy. I make history for my country. That was a very big achievement for me and the snooker. And, yeah, it was a great journey, and and I enjoy it. doesn't matter, lose. We all lose in life. Life is have up and down. So I will come back stronger, same as always. I, I improved slowly, but it's just the beginning, you know. And I just want to say something about the referees. I think is it's fair if we the snooker give the referees one one logo, you know. Just at least they have logo, and then they can make money as well. So it's good for the game. They can bring the companies to this our sport. So and they become happy as well because it's not fair. They are standing for five hours. And uh, just they just get their salary from World of Snooker, and they are on TV. And I think, in my opinion, and I think it's good for referees to allow them to have at least one logo to get the sponsor for themselves in the tournaments. Is that something you will suggest to the World Snooker Tour? Absolutely, yeah. This is I, I, a few a few nights ago. I just uh, I talked to Mr. Ferguson, and he agreed with that. And then. I said, why not, if I say that as well, and then all the world know that it's very good, because uh, we have to look after everyone, I think, as a... I don't have to say that, but I like to say that as an ambassador for my country, so why not help the players, help the referees as well, so because because they, if they bring the sponsors, if they get the sponsor, the game getting bigger, and the, all, the most of the companies, they know this it's not care as well, so... I think it's good for the game if they if the referee makes some money as well. Just going back to you making your debut here, just tell us what did it feel like when Rob Walker announced your name and you walked down into the auditorium for the first time mm -hmm. and to start your match. It was it was great. We all, all as a snooker player, we are all dreaming to play in the home of a snooker, which is Crucible, and yeah, just it was fantastic. And uh, it was good, a very big achievement for me and country. And then I enjoy it. I absolutely enjoy it. And all the fans been always fantastic, and they love me. They shouting for me. I have to say that I, I will come back stronger. Don't worry. It's just the beginning, you know. Just I'm learning. I'm because I came from somewhere. Snooker was nobody knew Snooker what was. And then I came with one suitcase, one queue, no coach. Two hand, two leg, <laughs> and and let's let's play snooker. So imagine how hard it was for me. I, I'm so happy I'm here and at the moment. And yeah, it's it was it was tough, but no, not many people understand me because they've never been in that kind of situation. And they're saying, no, why you play like that? Why you play like that? Because I'm coming from different country. It's not okay. People who are born here, it's not okay. it's on their blood. They, as soon as they grow up, they have the coach, they have everything. But what we had there? I, I don't have any role model as a snooker player to follow, to learn a snooker. So thanks God I've become strong and I can, I, hopefully I can be a good role model for Iranian player and Iranian people. And, yeah, I, I proud myself. I've done very well for this sport. Well done. Great to see you here. Thank you so much. Thanks all the media as well. Same as always. Without you guys, the snooker is not going to get big. So thank you. Thank you very much. I'm saying <coughs> snooker is uh, growing in Iran, in Turkey now, and in the in whole Middle East. Uh, figures like you, uh, what do you think? Uh, how much important figures like you to grow, even even grow the sport more in, in yeah yeah it's, it's it's great because Middle East uh, they can do everything for this sport because the market out there is unbelievable. 
I'm so happy when we went to the Turkey to play snooker in Turkey in front of the Turkish fans. It was absolutely great for the snooker. And I, as a snooker player, I enjoy it and I like to see other countries do that as well. And I'm trying my best. And all the federation in Middle East, I'm, I'm sure they're working very hard to grow the snooker, grow the billiard. Uh, yeah, just it, it's unbelievable. I hope uh, we see more tournament in Middle East and we work hard there to m make the snooker more popular in there. Thank you. Will Thank you. Family watching back home? My family, yeah, they're watching some of them, but uh, they don't know snooker very well. So I, I said, <laughs> I, I said, uh, I said to my mom, just mom, you don't know that. Just, just. <laughs> Just follow whatever you like to do. If you look at me, you get pressure. It's not good for you. And yeah, because one, one time when I was amateur, I was 16 and a half years old. When I win my first world title and I called my mom, mom, I win the world championship. I become world champion. I, she didn't understand what I was saying. She said, when you're coming back, because on that time, my father was passed away. And when you're coming back, something wrong in the house, you have to call that guy to come back and fix it. <laughs> I said, Mama, just win the world championship in amateur. And then, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. They, some, my sisters, they're following my matches. Yeah, yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you.